Yeah, what's up, people? It's been a while. Uh, here again, we just concluded another installation of 10 kilowatt inverter from SRNE with a 15.4 kilowatt hour lithium battery from SMS. I'll just give you little details about SRNE inverter because this is my first time using SRNE inverter. Uh, this 10 kilowatt uh, inverter from SRNE has double MPPT and uh, the inverter is capable the MPPT is capable of handling up to 11,000 watts for uh, the solar PV now this is how uh, the system is being divided or the MPPT is being divided MPPT 1 can handle up to 5,500 watt maximum MPPT 2 can also handle another 5,000 500 watts from the solar PV. Now, if you combine both, it means the uh, inbuilt charge controller will be capable of handling 11,000 watts from the PV. And what, do that, what does that mean? That means this inverter will be capable of handling 18 units of 600 watts solar panels. But the installation we just did here, uh, on the roof, we have uh, 16 units of 600 watt solar panels divided into two segments. Yes, uh, the first eight uh, uh, panels connected in series because it's a high voltage inverter ranging from about 150 volt to 500 bdc maximum so the first eight units of uh, 600 watt solar panels were connected in series to generate about 300 and something volt the same thing with the second segment of the eight unit of 600 watt so mppt1 is carrying eight unit of 600 watt mppt2 is carrying the same thing in total we have about 9600 watt energy coming from uh, the pv so like I said, this is my first time using SRN inverter. It has a good display. It will indicate how much energy is flowing from your solar PV to you know, your battery bank and how much is going to the house. Presently, you can see we are consuming about 0.4 kilowatts uh, from you know, the PV because right now uh, the inverter, whatever is being consumed in the house will be supported from the PV until when you know, there is no PV power to now start depending on the grid. So, but there is something I observe with SRNE, which I must say, and I think they have to do something about that if they want their inverter to, you know, work with other brands. Because I observe their inverter uh, is designed to work with specific brands. Yes, because uh, the maximum voltage this inverter can go to at, you know, full voltage is 54.0. And that is at, you know, uh, user. If you select your battery to user, you can you know set the battery voltage to 54.0 uh, volts which most of the time some lithium batteries or tubular batteries at float voltage or full voltage will be about 58 volts and that is the problem we are having here this sms uh 15.4 kilowatt hour lithium battery at full voltage or float voltage or absorb voltage will be 58.0 while on the inverter the full voltage is 54.0 so it means this ba this battery cannot get filled yes so if it gets filled then whatever is being displayed here is different from whatever the inverter is doing because on the manual and you know on the setting i try to set the inverter to 15.0 in order for it to match with the battery bank but you know it didn't work out the maximum i could get to was 54.0 so i've reached out to srne and they say they will get back to me so i'm waiting for you know their feedback on what to do if i'm going to update the firmware or not but i think the SRNA inverter is not compatible with most batteries. They have selected lithium batteries they work with. And another thing I observe is, if I decide to put this inverter off, it will go to standby. The battery will stop charging. I don't know if, if this is because uh, the battery is not compatible with the inverter. Immediately I put the inverter off, that's the inverter switch off, it goes to standby. I don't know why it's doing that. But I think it's because uh, the, the absorb voltage or the full voltage on the inverter is 54.0 while on the battery is 58.0. So uh, they are not communicating very well, really. So let's check it out. Let it not be as if I'm just saying it. Now I'll put the inverter off. Observe the screen. It's showing us that you know uh, power is coming from our PV to the battery bank and to the house. Immediately I put it off, just be looking at the PV. Has gone to standby, so I don't know if this is a special effect or <laughs> a special special option from SRNE, but this is not a good idea. So I put the inverter back on. Now observe it; it has start charging because I put the inverter back on. Once I put the inverter off, the PV also goes off. So I think we need a firmware update. So here is our usual 
15.4 kilowatt hour lithium battery from SMS. And uh, my last installation using SMS, I think I didn't pay attention, but SMS decided to, you know, redesign their system with DC breaker. Uh, because this very battery doesn't have a DC breaker, just an air switch. So with this air switch, if something should happen that the BMS cannot handle, it will damage the BMS. I'll suggest SMS should try and you know build their battery with DC breaker. So this installation here will be capable of powering two ACs. It will power more than that. But because of the battery sake, because it's just a single battery, which is 15.4 kilowatt hour, and we don't want to overload the battery. But mostly in the afternoon, they can power up to three ACs because they have a lot of energy coming from the solar panels. It will power three ACs. That's in the afternoon. At night, they might power one or two. Uh, it will power microwave, their deep freezers, the lighting points, the TVs, and you know their pumping machine because this inverter is a 10 kilowatt uh, inverter. If you convert it to KVA, that will be like 10 points or 11 point something KVA. So don't forget to get something like this for your house or for your hotel. Uh, because we did this installation for an Airbnb, a shortlet lodge or a place where you can bring your family, your friends, you lodge for like a week or month. So when you come here, light will not go off. Once they go off, your inverter will continue from you know where your grid stops. So this is a very good idea for those of you that are into a uh, lodge business, hotel business, office business. You can get something like this for your office. You don't need much battery bank, especially if you stay in an office where it closes by four. What you need mostly is the solar PV and a very good high PV inverter or solar inverter.